If you're an international student applied to medicine or dentistry in the UK, you will understand just how sought after it is because they provide some of the best medical and dental training that the world has to offer, which is exactly why the success rates are about 6% for people applying as an international to both those courses. That's why there are some key things that you need to understand to separate yourself from all the other international applicants. In this video, I'm gonna list five things that you really need to make sure that you're on top of if you want to be within that 6% of people who do actually manage to secure a place a medical and dental school in the UK. So the first thing you really need to understand is the process, the application cycle, and the portal through which you have to do it. Now, if you want a free resource, you can go to the FutureDoc website and understand the timeline of the application. But so many internationals think, oh, I want to go to medical school in six months, so I'm gonna apply now and then I'm gonna start. It doesn't work like that. It takes about a year from submitting your application to actually starting at medical school. Not only that, you have to start preparing probably about a year before you submit your application, before you're even ready to do a good job. So really the whole cycle is about two years. Now, the majority of the universities, the ones that you'll know, like King's College London, Cambridge, Oxford, all of those, you have to apply through a portal, a government portal called UCAS. Now on UCAS, you're only allowed to apply to four medical schools in a given application cycle. So once a year, basically. Now. Of those universities that are listed on UCAS, it's around 45 to 50 medical schools. Some of them don't take international students. So it's really important that you do your research on these universities to understand which ones don't accept international students and you don't waste one of your four precious places. Now, other than the UCAS universities, there are also some private universities, which can be a little bit easier to get into. And I'll talk a bit more in detail about those later in the video. Now, once you have considered a university that you might apply to, the next step is that it's crucial that you check their entry requirements. So these are the basic things in terms of grades and certain qualifications that are the minimum hurdle, the box that you need to tick to be able to make sure you're even allowed to apply to that university. A lot of the time for international students, it will be around grades. So in the UK, we have a system called A-levels. Usually you'll need around three A's, maybe two A's and an A star to get into most universities on UCAS. Now, a lot of universities on their website site will tell you the requirements for things like international baccalaureate or some of the more common educational grading systems but if you come from one that's not listed or maybe a little bit less known to the UK you may have to either get your grades translated via translation service or go directly to the university to get them to tell you whether they accept the grade you've achieved in your educational system grading. Another thing that you must have if you come from a non-English language speaking country is an IELTS level 7.5 or above by the time you start the degree, especially for medicine and dentistry. So it's really important that you have that achieved or a decent level of English. If you come from a country where English is known as one of the recognized national languages, then you don't have to do that. The third thing is that you have to be ready and score highly in the admissions test. A lot of people have never heard of the exam called the UCAT, U-C-A-T. It's an incredibly important one that is the biggest hurdle for people doing well. If this is all starting to sound a little bit overwhelming and you would like someone who knows what they're doing to guide you through the process, here at FutureDoc, we have an incredibly successful one-on-one -on -one coaching program that has consistently, every year for the past five years now, taken those 6% odds of international students and consistently got 93% or above success rate with getting students into their first choice university. It's application only and you can find out how you can apply on this video here but if you want some help and want to turn the odds in your favor to make sure you as close to guarantee your success with your medical or dental school application in the UK I recommend that you check out the program. The fourth thing is to make sure that you get enough work experience. Now this is a concept that is probably foreign to people who are applying from outside of the UK because there aren't many other applications to medical school and dental school that require this. But ultimately, work experience is what they want to see you go into maybe say a dental practice or a hospital and they want you to observe how a doctor works so that you can understand what the job is so that you know what you're letting yourself into when you apply to the career. Work experience is beyond just that bit which is what we call shadowing there's also volunteering and paid work which demonstrate a range of skills that people want to see if you want to find out a little bit more about work experience we've done an entire playlist here for medicine and there's also a dental version that we've created if you check out this playlist here the final thing to understand is the budget and the fees because when international students are coming to study in the UK, the fees per year can be anything from 15,000 to 50,000 just for one year of study. 
That's really important to understand whether that is within your remit to afford because then you still need to pay for your accommodation, your cost of living, and all the other stuff that goes around university. So often a very limiting factor for many international students. Now there are scholarships and bursaries and we've talked about that in this video here where you can find out exactly how you can go about arranging one, but you just have to be aware that the competition for those is fierce and the likelihood of getting them is reasonably low, but it's always worth applying if you really want to do it and you think that you're in with a chance. But a lot of the time for internationals, this is the biggest stumbling block when it comes to applying or even coming to the UK to study medicine or dentistry. Ultimately, when you're applying as an international, it's just as important as the domestic applicants is to play the game and be strategic about how you apply so that you can put yourself in that top 5% and as close to possible guarantee getting yourself in. So if you want to find out a little bit more, there's an entire international playlist that I've created here. But if you want to find out how you can apply to our program to have us help you with your application, there's a video here showing you exactly how to do that. But thank you for watching and best of luck with your application. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.